Okay, so game one, uh, we got Jeeves, Blood Seal Corsair, Snow Flipper Penguin, and Living Mana. Ooh, Breezy's got Kazakis. That's a great card. Probably the best one in this matchup. Right? Yeah, it's insane. Uh, the one mana potion and five mana potion, if you get AoE, are absolutely just game breaking. So I think he's going to keep that for sure. I'll drink an opposite to keep Blood Seal Corsair, and it looks like Breezy decides to keep Kazakis. I think that's a smart move. I like it. Okay, uh, Audrey's hand is good because he has Mark of the Lotus. It's not great though. Greetings. Greetings. My greeting. They greet each other. Such gentlemen. Breezy slamming the cleric. Odd Dragon is likely he's gonna go flame elemental. Uh, a fire elemental. Sorry, coin flame elemental. Firefly. Sorry, coin flame elemental. Fire alley would be pretty strong here. The six mana, six five shaman card. Breeze goes for the hero power play, just cycles a little bit. Definitely a great play on turn two with Cleric. It's basically the intended um, use of the card. Ooh, Roots is pretty spicy too. But I, I definitely like the Blood Sail plus Lotus play here. This is basically just securing the board here. That's what he's doing. I do like to trade with the 2 3 as well, just to play around Spear Lash a little bit more. I think that's good. And I do like the Curve Acolyte. This game is pretty straightforward, to be honest, so far. There's not really anything spicy going on. The whole game plan for Odd Dragon here is just spread as much as he possibly can. Uh, the reason for that is because he has sold the Forest next turn. Uh, that'll play around all of the key AoE cards that Breezy will have. I believe he'll hold back the roots, you don't really want it uh, as a 1 mana 1 1. It's very good for Reach as well, surprisingly enough. Whoa, Breezy's drawn all of the Reno cards. That is pretty good. He's got Kazakis, he's got Raza, he's got Anduin. I, I mean, I, oh, sorry. I, I was just going to say he doesn't have Reno, but now he does. So he literally has all of the Reno cards. This is exactly what you want when you play this deck. The reason you play so many cards like Blood Mage, Thalnos, Acolyte of Pain is so you can cycle towards the Reno cards. And he's just naturally drawn them all, like, you know, nine cards deep, just casually. Unfortunately, it's not the best matchup for them, because uh, you usually just want to have AoE. But he is Kazakis, which means he can get deal four damage AoE and... You know, maybe like draw two cards or something to 5-5. Five, five. The panel for Odd Dragon though is quite good because he's basically in the only scenario where he can actually do something in the AoE. Uh, because he has Soul of Forest, right? This is a very tough card for Breezy to deal with. Because he doesn't run Master Spell, right? Um, sometimes you'll see that on ladder, it's kind of funny. I, I don't think it's good at all, but some people like to run it. Uh, and it usually would just ruin my day when I'm playing Aggro Druid. Because, you know, you just make a thick board and then your opponent just goes... Hey, um, your board's gone now. Like, uh, <laughs> nice buffs, dude. Nice Mark of the Lotus, nice Soul of the Forest. Um, you get your 1-1s one back now. Okay, Breezy opts to go for the Hero Power, Power Ward, Shield line. Uh, I personally don't mind that just because I think he, he knows that what's going to happen most of the time with Kazakis is it will be, uh, you know, he will, he'll want to use the, the one mana potion in most cases. Gets a little bit more card draw. Is definitely on the low side as far as health goes here though. Being at 14 here uh, with the Soul of the Forest on the board, it's very scary because Savage Wars can come out and just win in the game. Broderick. Potion of Madness pickup is quite good though. Uh, let's you steal one of the two twos. The question is, will it be good enough? The answer, probably not, but it will do something. I believe Breezy's whole game plan right now is just to survive until Reno on turn six. So if we're thinking, if we're, if we're Breezy here, what, what are we doing to piece this together? So we're looking for something like Spear Lash off the Acolyte, I can tell you that much. That would be a great card to pick up. I mean, Radiant Elemental allows us to hear up our face, which is good. So Breezy can utilize that. Looking to go for Kazakus though, so I assume it's going to be like he, he wants a 2 mana AoE potion. Yeah, so deal 2 damage to all minions, and then gain some armor. Deal 3 is not bad either, because you do clear one of the tokens. You also get the draw from the Acolyte as well. Nope, goes for damage. Okay, so you just want to clear any of the minions, it doesn't really matter which one. Uh, deal 2 damage and deal 3, wait, wait. Oh yeah, yeah, it doesn't actually... Yeah, that's my bad, that's my bad. Uh, <laughs> I don't think Freeze would do anything either. And uh, he's in 9 cards, I believe. Yep, so I mean, it's fine, it doesn't really matter what he does there. Audrey picks up Power of the Wild, that's gonna be game. He was 1 off before, he had 10 damage on board. Uh, and three with the Living Roots plus Hero Power. But Power of the Wild is going to seal game one. Odd Dragon takes a quick lead. Going up 1-0 against Breezy. Uh, trying to redeem himself here. So I, I like the win. Unfortunately, I'm going to see the Penguin. Um, which really sucks and kind of feels terrible. But it's all good. So, 
see what our dragon has left to win with. He still needs to get a W with his Reno Mage and his Zulak list. So that's going to be his challenge. One of the last two decks, and we will be good to go. Okay, perfect. That's a pretty cool game. I mean, it was like kind of like a classic Iger Druid game where you draw two AoE buffs and uh, a Soul of the Forest and you just like win the game, basically. Again, I'm kind of disappointed we're going to see the Hobgoblin memes, but that's all good. Actually, I think I'm going to ladder with that, dude. I'm not even joking. The, the Snow Flipper Penguin Hobgoblin deck. That looks like a lot of fun. And you get to play the Penguin, too. It's so cute. <laughs> I love Snow Flipper Penguin. It's a sweet card. The, the question is now for Breezy, like, what his best deck is in Dorino Mage and Zulok. Let me take a look at his list again. If I'm Breezy, what's my best deck in Torino Mage? Uh, it's definitely not Priest. I can tell you that. I believe his Mage is banned, too. Yeah, I believe I'll drag it the Mage. Uh, mage actually does really good against Green Priest. Yeah, the Freeze Mage. Uh, Jade is pretty good. It's not good against Zulog, though. He does, and he only has one Spreading Plague as well. That's something interesting to note as well. As there's only one Plague in the deck, which means... You don't have that consistently against, uh, you know, Odd Dragon's Onslaught of Demons. Breezy, however, does have Double Brawl. Um, I mean, it, the Warrior list is not bad in either of them, right? Like, you can tank up a range of um, anything, really. Looks like it's going to be Reno Mage versus Reno Priest, though. So, definitely the edge is on the Reno Mage side, just because Ice Block really beats up on the Spot of Shadows, um, plus uh, the, the Prophet Villain. Yeah, Prophet Valen game plan. However, the last time we saw this matchup, it was an extremely long grindy game. Very, very long grindy game. Um, between, like, we literally saw this matchup in the open. Like, this was like game three or four. And it was insane. It went to fatigue. I believe Breezy had a hard time picking up Raza, but really almost got there. I, I think Odd Dragon won in the end. I don't really remember, though. No, no, no. Breezy, Breezy won in the end. But it looked like Odd Dragon was going to win for a long time. Breezy came back because he had Prophet Melon and Spawn of Shadows in his deck with Mind Blast. Yeah, so his tag cards for the slow matchup really just paid off. And here it looks like Odd Dragon's going to keep Mad Scientist. Uh, for Breezy, I assume he's just going to Hard Mulligan. Yep. Really, like, the best play you can do with this deck uh, with Reina Priest, what you can do is just, like, literally just Hard Mulligan if you don't have Raza, Anduin, and Kazakus. Like, those are the three cards you want all the time. Unless you're against Aggro and you want specific cards. But against slow decks, that's all you really want. Because the mulligan is a free card draw, right? So there's no reason to keep Novice Engine in your opening hand when you can just get the free card draw right away. Cycle the card, if that makes any sense. Breezy's just going to jam the, the elemental there. I uh, just played as a 2-3, that's good. Odd Dragon's going to respond. Hey, I have a mad scientist. It's going to free secret from my deck. Let's take a look at his secret package. Again, he runs Counterspell, Barrier, and Block. So no duplicate. Breezy's just going to jam the Accolade Pain there. Get some damaging. Or sorry, get some card drawing. See so which one's pulled. Definitely not the block. It is barrier. Okay, that's a very good one to have bold early on. Not dragon ops is just paying a pass. I like it. Uh, it's unlikely that Breezy activates the accolade of pain himself to allow himself to draw. So this should just be fine leaving it there. It won't really do too much on board. Uh, because odd dragon simply does not have a good way to clear, right? You can just play uh, the mind control tech. That would be acceptable, and it, honestly, it's best use in this matchup is just to be played as a 3-3. But what this also does is leaving that up uh, means that his opponent won't, like, say, trade the um, trade the Radiant Elemental and Accolade of Pain into the uh, Mind Control deck, and it activates your barrier, so you get that off right away. So Temple Brand's always a little bit scary just because of the threat of Kazakus, and that's maybe what Odd Dragon could think Breezy would be doing here. Uh, I mean, that's fine, it's kind of awkward. I feel like Doomsayer is still a good play, though. Like, you just say it. You just play it. You hope he goes off. I don't think he runs Nova. No. The only real combo with Doomsayer is, like, Doomsayer Blizzard. The card's still really good to run, just because it's great on curve against aggro. And it's good to play into a turn where your opponent would like to curve out with something. Like, say you think your opponent wants to play Azure Drake on turn 5. Playing it on turn 4 into their turn 5 is great, then. Because then if they want to play the Azure Drake, they get the card draw to lose a body. Or they have to play Drake on 6. Sometimes it'll just make your opponents pass. Gonna go for a Volcanic Arcane boss here. Definitely respecting the brand just for the Kazakus there. And that's one of the things brand does is really just um, forces respect or you can get punished super hard by it. I honestly don't mind the clear. 
Like, Volcanic Potion and Arcane Blossom are not going to be key cards in this matchup for Odd Dragon. Uh, so it's kind of nice that he just uses them to remove. Uh, just like the Bren, and deny the potential Kazakhs. Dirty Rat, that's a card. Doomsayer plus Ice Block, I like it here. Uh, what you really want to do is deny card draw from Accolade of Pain. And you don't want to have to Polymorph it to do that. So I think the Doomsayer is good here. Again, I don't think the Breezy runs Horror. Let me just double check. I love having the deck close ups, it's so nice. It's so, so nice. No, he doesn't run Shadow Horror, and all dragons should know that, it's just Shadow Horror Pain. What else we cleared? Silence? Yeah, Silence Part 2. Ooh, Potion and Madness Pain. So he's just testing for Counterspell there. Uh, I like it, I mean, because if it doesn't go off, you're in a really bad spot. And Potion is not necessarily the best card in this matchup. It's good because you can pull Scientist, which has already been cleared, one of the card draw cards like Blood Mage Thalmos, for example. Even the value card like Pyros is great to pull, but um, I mean, you, you could say that Odd Dragon doesn't have those because it's turn six and he hasn't played them, right? He has some turns where he's basically doing nothing. So I think it's acceptable to just say, hey, like I'm just going to potion man, is to say you're not going to get Counterspell off. And I do like this Polymorph here because before Odd Dragon does anything, he needs to make sure that Breezy does not draw, right? If he plays like Dirty Rat, then he gets a draw or two off, right? He plays Mind Control Attack because Aquaid Pain has five health. He's going to get two draws. Which is very problematic, because the way you lose is pre-cycling before you can get your cards when you're playing this, uh, when you're playing the Reno Mage. Dirty Rat's a Dirty Rat. Oh man. That's actually pretty bad for Odd Dragon, to be honest. Dirty Rat's one of the best cards in this matchup, because you can pull Spawn of Shadows or Prophet Velen. Velen looks alright. Uh, Torch is good, similar card. Uh, makes you fatigue a little bit slower, not that that's going to be relevant from uh, Odd Dragon's end. It will be from Breezy's because the Priest draws a lot more than the Mage. Even though it doesn't seem like they do. Shuffling a Torch is often so good. 3 mana deal 6 damage is quite nice in Hearthstone. He's actually thinking about it too. Because I, I don't think the 2-5 is very threatening. And I, I almost just like the ping pass there. The onus is definitely not on him to do anything. The cleric is clearly a little bit of a punish here, but uh, I think it was an acceptable risk to take myself. Breezy picks up Thorsten, he also has two of his eight big AoE cards as well. Breezy's end really isn't coming together too well right now. Huh, is Coin Jaina a good play? What do you guys think? That's probably the most important card for Audrey to pick up, by the way. Is just Jaina and get it rolling. You could just Ragnaros as well. I mean, on turn 8, his opponent didn't play Shadow Reaper Anduin, so you can see that he doesn't have that. He could still have the Death or other removal cards. I like Coin Jaina. I like it. Play the DK. Upgrade from regular Jaina. No Frost Lich Jaina! Get the Water Ellie. Which of the Freeze Effect isn't relevant in this matchup, but still a really good card. And again, the hero power being upgraded in Infinite Water Ellie is going to be insane. Blood Mage Silence is actually a really good pick up now uh, for Breezy because what you can do is play that plus Dragonfire at the same time. And then what you do is actually clear the Water Elementals with Dragonfire. So it might seem like it's not that big of a deal right now, but sometimes uh, Spell Power is actually huge. And in the context of this exact scenario that we're in right now, it's really good. Okay, just slams the Thoris in. I like Flame Strike a lot here. Um, yeah. Odd Dragon agrees, it's great. You get another Water Elemental, you trade off your 1 1. Or maybe you can trade off the 2 2. Uh, just so you have a 1 1 for a guaranteed Water Elemental next turn. Again, I don't play Rena Mage, so maybe it's just like reading too far down the loophole, but I feel like it's a decent play. Either way, he set himself up to be in a good position here. However, Breezy has a lot of ways to clear. And the Kazakus pickup is great as well. Uh, 5 mana potion draws you cards, it's beautiful here. It would be absolutely beautiful. Could just go 10 mana too. I mean, I would not mind that either because we're kind of in a position where you can actually wait to play a 10 mana potion. You don't need to tempo from the 5 mana one right away. Uh, I'm often like stuck in this mindset where I always need to tempo right away from Kazakus potions. So, him over the tempo here is great though because uh, you do have um, the big boy potions and you have time to play the big boy potions. Looks like he went for Polymorph and I um, believe he'll go for draw 3. I mean, I don't see a way that he wouldn't. Yeah, poly draw 3. I like it. Good pick. Hero power face. So Breezy is now at how many cards? Three, six, eight cards. So next turn he'll be at nine. He actually can't play the 10 mana potion right away. 
AI is a really good pickup here. Arcane Intellect for Odd Dragon. Just being able to cycle is nice. He trades and gets another water element. Hey, Blood Mage Thumbloose. That's uh, that's four mana. Draw a card and get a water elemental. That's pretty good. You can play the Blood Mage Thumbloose and use a hero power on it. Icy Touch, I think is what it's called. Yeah, I got it right. And guess what you do? <laughs> you get another water element. And you know what you do with 1 1 Sheeps? You get water elementals off of them. Uh, is Breezy gonna overdraw? My hand is too full. Yeah, definitely a mistake, I think. He is not drawing Raza or Anduin yet. This is bad. Uh, mistakes were made, gentlemen. So, here I drink and go Mediv or Rag. This is kind of interesting, actually. Medivh is nice because it sets up uh, for the use of cards like Fireball and... And Torch just like reach cards, but Ragnaros like gets the damage in right away. Obviously go for Ragnaros. So this just kind of like sets it up and forces me now basically. Get a big wide board. Correct Meteor positioning, even though it's playing Priest, not Mage. Breezy not punished for the Overdraw 2 play either there. Uh, you know, so what I was saying like Zagas Potion is that I figured he was going to dump some cards out of his hand after he did that. But, um, he opted not to. And he could have been heavily punished, right? Assume one of those cards was Raz or Anduin. The game is basically unwinnable at that point. Uh, not that he's in a very good spot here either, but... That would have been very rough for him. I believe now he's forced on playing Reno Jackson. I know it's a little bit tough to see, guys, so sorry about that. Uh, I can briefly go over his hand here. So Priest of the Feast, Reno Jackson, Novice Engineer, Spirit Lash, Blood Mage Thalnos, Dragonfire and Light Bomb, Spawn of Shadows, Mind Blast, and a Shadow Death. So, something like Reno Jackson, you would play Spirit Lash first, I believe. Yeah, so you like Spirit Lash. Shadow Word Death. Reno Jackson, I think he cycled the Thalmos, that's fine as well. That's a good use for the card. I, I almost like holding it just for like the Dragon Fire line, because the Water Elementals do become quite problematic to clear. Gonna go for Novice Engineer, Doomsayer, Heal Face, because with Blood Mage, Talon, Spirit Lash, you actually don't need to play Reno, because it kind of is Arena. Uh, you heal for all the damage you deal, so if you deal like 2 AoE damage to, uh, say, like 6 minions, it's 12 health, pretty good. So that's good. That's the reason you play Thalmos there, and to Psycho, right? So that was actually a better play than the one I suggested. Oh, well, Dragon Knight, he's got a big hump to get over, too. So it, it's not terribly difficult, right? You just firelands, you you trade three four into the Doomsayer, and then you ping again. Gets a, a pit fighter as well. It's definitely a decent rule of the firelands. It's overstated. Or I guess for a five drop, five six is like fair stats, right? So it's usually five drops have effects or do things, uh, rather than just being like vanilla stat minions like Pit Fighter. Dragonfire plus the Raza pickup. Very, very good scoop there from Breezy. Face. He's sitting comfortably at 24 now. Aldrigan has 9 reach from hand. Uh, sorry, 11 with Thalmos. 11 with Thalmos and 8 on board, so it's 19. So he's 5 off lethal here. So this is kind of awkward. You have Thalmos ping. You don't get to play Medivh though, and I feel like Medivh's a really good card here. I think the problem for Aldrigan though is he's kind of just expecting Anduin. Time melts away. Which is rough. I feel like he's feeling quite comfortable though. Um, so he goes Forgotten Torch with Thalmos and then he pings the 5 1. So he's staying really wide on board, making it super awkward for Breezy to, deal, uh, to do things. And he again plays Tark Reaper. We've seen Dragonfire Potion. So he knows by playing Tark Reaper, um, having the Tark Reaper on the Water Alien board is really, really good because those cards don't die to Light Bomb. They survive through it, which is excellent for him. And so we have Shadow Reaper and Win. Bottom four here. This has been the story so far for the Arena Priest. They've been having a hard time getting the combo off. We have not seen the, the Raz on 5 and Anduin on 8 meme happen at all today. Interesting to see if that trend continues or not. Consider. We cannot Light Bomb and Reno in the same turn, which is very bad. He might be thinking about like Priest of the Feast Light Bomb. Just to heal. It's got to be that or just Gnomish. Like, Light Bomb comes down. Definitely comes down. You have to clear here. You need to remove the 9 damage. It's huge. 
Well, that's a lot of reach. Uh, that is a juicy Roaring Torch top deck. What are, what are the odds of that? It's like, okay, 1 out of 11 is not super unlikely. That's 18. Odd Dragon has 4 power on board, plus 13 from hand, so 4 plus 13 is 1 off lethal here. Insane. Let me just double check if I'm counting it right. I believe it's 1 off, right? 13 from hand, plus 4 on board. Unfortunately, Tarkir only deals 3 damage in your opponent's turn, but... Yeah, so 17, so he's just one off, man. That's, uh, that's rough. I feel like, uh, it's a good Medivh turn, though. Is he gonna Meteor? He might. I feel like I just, I just like Medivh because then you have minions to play, right? You play Meteor next turn, uh, you get a 6 drop. Because if you play Medivh, uh, you can assume the Priest of the Feast won't be removed. One issue might be is he's waiting to play Medivh post Anduin. That could be what he's waiting for. But I feel like he's set himself up to be in a position to just kind of get there if he just like continues snowballing on board. Another problem he's kind of facing right now too for Odd Dragon is that he can't actually make another Water Elemental this turn. Breezy is playing around that quite well. Okay, so he's just going to develop the same board. Uh, he's going to... Yeah, I like the money. I was going to ask if I, I was kind of curious if he was going to play Mind Control deck or not. Because the thing is, the card's effect's never going to go off, right? Reno Priest is not a deck that plays a lot of minions, so he should never have four on board at any point in this game, ever. Uh, just because what Odd Dragon's going to be doing is just removing all the minions he plays ever. So. Still no Anduin, man. What is that, bottom two? You got to be kidding me. Anduin, bottom two. That's rough. That is definitely not what Breezy wants to see. The Reno pickup's good, and he has a 50% chance of getting it next turn. He didn't play for Frost Giant, dude. No hero power. Come on, dude. Frost Giant! It's good. We get the Water Elemental here, which is great. I believe... I mean, the thing about Medivh now is it's like... It's so likely he just plays Anduin, so you're just getting the weapon. I personally would have liked to see Odd Dragon play that a little while ago, but... Hearthstone's kind of cool because we all take different lines, and um, you know the way players think is often quite different. Like there's there's often a lot of right ways to get to the same answer in this game, which is usually just a W, uh, like the win, right? And here he actually opts to play around Anduin, which I like because as soon as Breezy draws it, right, like he's gonna play it. Let's be real here. Uh, this turn he might actually evil instead, but um, we'll see. I feel like the biggest hunt for Breezy is going to be that Odd Dragon's not fatiguing, so you can't just put him at 1 through, um, you know, the, the Velen plus Spawn of Shadows game plan, and then have him die to fatigue the next turn. He actually has to deal damage over 2 turns, and he needs to deal 40 damage, which is a ton. So we're going to see if he can get there or not. I haven't been completely tracking what cards... Uh, Breezy has played, so I'm actually not sure what his last one is. That's just what I was thinking about right there. Like, what exactly the very last card is. Check the list real quick. What have we not seen? We have not seen... I'm recognizing a lot of cards. Maybe death? Have we seen a Shadow or Death? Might be Death. I feel like it's a death. I may be wrong. Yeah, it goes for Anduin. So Odd Dragon has 14 in hand. The ping's 15, and he has 6 plus 9. Uh, so he has... Time it's a little bit off? Me. Not by very much, though. Just a tiny bit. He is, what, 3 off? I feel like that's been the whole game for Odd Dragon. He's just been so close to winning. But he's always just, like, few damage points off. Let's see if he can finally get the next turn. Sitting at 34 health, with some elementals on board, and um, not, not only some elementals, it's got some burn in hand too. Yeah, okay, so the last card is Loot Hoarder. Breezy just hits the bottom right button, so I was wrong, it was Loot Hoarder as the last card. And Odd Dragon is going to take a quick 2-0 weed, looking to seal this one out with a 3-0 victory. And, um, you know, get revenge over Breezy for his loss in the Open Finals. See, Breezy can bounce back. Uh, I believe in the reverse sweep. I think it can happen. I mean... Anything can happen Arso, man. It's a cool thing about this game. So, Odd Dragon has to win with his last deck, which is Zulok now. So, we're going to see um, Zulok looks like a flash out on the screen for you guys real quick. Um, show you guys what I'm looking at while we load into the game real quick. Um, yeah. 
So it's Zulok again. He's got like a little bit of a different build with Crystal Weaver. Uh, and one Bone Marrow, one Boom, plus Lothab. Kind of like it. It's going to get slow decks. Load up into the last game here. Uh, Odd Dragon playing Zulok against Breezy's Priest yet again. Running back to the three-peat. I think that's pretty good for Odd Dragon. And I like Doomsayer Cleric and Power Word Shield for Breezy. You might opt to toss the Cleric and Power Word just for better cards. Because, I mean, it's kind of weird to just hear Power when you want to play Doomsayer on two. Or coin it on one, actually. If you see, if you see Flame Up on turn one, uh, I feel like just coin Doomsayer is pretty good into that. Because usually at any point past that, it's very easy for the Zulok to clear it. I have a lot of reach, like Soulfire, um, all that kind of jazz, you know. Just want to say thanks to the guys playing the tournament, by the way. Taking the time during the mulligan, so, uh, you know, I can talk about what's going down. And, uh, you know, see what kind of cards they're they're opting to keep and, and throw away. So, I like, appreciate you guys for that. If you guys are watching the VODs or anything like that, you real ones. Go for the Flame Up on one. I definitely like it. Uh, so, actually, Breezy did decide to keep Cleric plus Power Word. So, and I mean, I honestly don't mind that at all. Personally, I like to see the coin doomsayer here. We'll see what he does, though. So. Yeah, I like it. Uh, it's tough to remove, and it's really not worth it for Odd Dragon, so I, I assume we're going to see top pass here, unless he gets exactly Kelly stuff. These are some great curve plays here. He is a very solid 3 4 5, which is wonderful. Is Breezy picks up Cleric, goes for, sorry, picks up Novice Engineer and goes Cleric, uh, cleric plus Power Word. So basically, what he's looking to do here is just develop a board. Um, looking to get value from the Hero Power next turn and probably go double twos on turn four. Odd Dragon just again goes for the curve play, goes for the end. Spirit Lash isn't bad. It's actually pretty good. He has Thalmos too. That's two damage AoE for four mana and a big heal. It's actually great. So, Breezy's game plan though of trading with a five health cleric and Hero Powering. It's kind of awkward in the game boss, right? Like, this is just not what you want to see because you just generate more imps. And if Breezy's looked at the list and sees that Odd Dragon runs Crystal Weaver, you definitely don't want to be making this bump here. Because then your opponent's got three demons after he trades again next turn to buff up Crystal Weaver with. I mean, it's what you got to expect, right? He's got two curve plays on turn four. He's got Crystal Weaver and Void Caller, so I mean, it's going to be one and two. Rips a Shadow or Pain, that's pretty good, because even if uh, the game boss is buffed by Crystal Weaver, it's still only against 3 attack, which means that the Shadow or Pain still clears it, which is wonderful. Odd Dragon looking to stay away from the line of the Crystal Weaver and uh, get a lot more value out of it. Just looking to spread here and then play uh, Crystal Weaver next turn. Just saying, hey, it's turn 4, Priest does not have any class away here. You cannot clear my whole board. You can try. It's not going to work, though. Thalos plus Spirit Lash is actually looking quite appealing here. Could also just play Priest of the Feast as a 4 mana 3 6, that would be acceptable. Even, I mean, Pain's not very good. Yeah, Pain's not very good. Spirit Lash is decent though, because uh, you clear everything but 3 minions. You could even silence the game boss, so he just has 2. It's like a 2 1 and a 1 1. So Malchazar's Imp and, and, and then the Imp game boss himself, that would be alright. This Priest of the Feast plus Silence on the Imp. Uh, denying the Doom Guard play here, I like it. So he's just trying to play around that a little bit. Uh, I think that's a good play. I mean, you really don't want your opponent throwing cards away and drawing. Audrey uh, picks up another Crystal Weaver, just gonna slam it here, I assume. That is a lot of value from a 4 drop. Think about how good Hammer Master is. It's a it's a 4 mana 4 3 that gives a minion plus 2 2. This is a 4 mana 5 4 that gives all 5 of the demons on board plus 1 1. So it's, it's like a 4 mana 9 8 worth of stats. That's nuts. Helps the trade favorably. Uh, not, oh, I mean, not super favorably, but it trades well into the board. You can just sack the flame uh, the flame imp and an imp into the Priest of the Feast. So a one drop and a token. Right, gonna go for the value trade? Spicy, I like it. And not gonna clear the quick. Not gonna sink his damage into a 1 5. Basically, what Odd is saying here is Breezy, if you wanta cycle it with uh, the Northshire Quick, I'm gonna smack you in the face and you're gonna die. The evil pickup is great here. Clearing a lot more minions off the board is good. And getting some usage out of the cleric here. To actually move some cards. I assume it's gonna be a tap crystal we return again. Oh, that Malganus is juicy. This curve is like 7-7 seven, seven into Malganus. This is insane. Stopping this is gonna be really tough for Breezy. Really, really tough. Crystal Weaver has done work this game, though. Holy. Like, this card is just putting in work. It's not even on curve, right? He played off curve on turn 5. Just spread with demons. That's actually nuts. Like, this card is ridiculous. It was actually a 4-mana 9-8 this game. 
Say it's a five mana nine and it's fine because he floated one crystal on turn five, so player is actually just great. You gonna go Spear last year with Thalnos. Uh heal up for ten, which is great, but it's up to nineteen. And Kranos and he's on the board. Great play from Breezy. Could have actually opted to go uh, go to twenty one if he wanted to, but I think he values the the cleric uh, sorry, the novice engineer trading into an imp. I mean I don't think I know. And I, I agree with the Bone Mirror here. I think it's nice. This is one turn before Shadow Reaper, so if you make your minions 5-5s, five fives, you're usually good to go. Just jam Boom after. It's a little bit harder to play Bone Mirror than Boom. You can just get on an empty board after AoE. Uh, Bone Mirror, unfortunately, it's not. Uh, it trades a 1-1. One, one. It goes face for 9. Does Breezy have an out? He can go Gnomish Engineer into Shadow or Death. Can he do it? Well played. It's unfortunate. And, you know, the gross thing is he doesn't even see the rest of the cards Odd Dragon has in hand. So that's going to be a quick 3 0 from Odd Dragon. Definitely getting, uh, you know, Redemption W against Breezy here. Uh, you know, just getting that 3 0 lead. So Odd Dragon is Slizzle 466. We'll be playing in the semifinals tomorrow on stream. Only doing the quarters today. So that's just like a great set. Again, uh, I'll go over these guys real quick for you guys just to let you know who was just playing. So we got um, we got Odd Dragon here. I'll show you guys in a second. So Odd Dragon again. Uh, he got a W with his Mage Druid and Warlock. Took that quick 3-0 W. Uh, again a redemption win because he did lose in the finals of the uh, of my Wild Open uh, to Breezy actually. So that was a rematch of the finals of the last turn of the last weekend. So definitely a good redemption after losing a very close 3-2 set by Odd Dragon with a quick 3-0 there. Uh, very spicy taking down the Priest. It was nice. You can hit him up on Twitter at OddDragonHS, and he streams wild gameplay, twitch.tv slash OddDragon underscore. Um, yeah, I mean, he he's also played Pokemon competitively, and again, he's a really great player, finished rank 1 Legend three times, practice with him, cool dude. Uh, yeah, go check out his stream, guys, drop him a fall. And Breezy, again, standard player, uh, unfortunately, he did not come through for with that, uh, with the W there, but he did win the Open, which is great, uh, a lot more players there. And uh, kind of unfortunate, like, he had the grudge match back up. Odd Dragon probably really wanted to win. Defend his honor, you know? But, um, yeah, Breezy's a great player, too. You guys should check him out. Follow him on Twitter at Breezy underscore DM. Uh, B-R-E-E-Z-Y-Y -Y underscore DM. It's good. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool to actually have a, a really good standard player in the tournament. Just because his deck lists were a lot different than ones that would be metagame uh, for a while, right? Even, like, the priest build on... Uh, you know, nobody was really playing Private Villain and Spawn of Shadows, and then he just came in and did it, and won the Open with it, and now a couple of people are doing the Invitational. This Control Warrior list, again, is quite different. I can just throw up the deck list for you guys, too. So here are all Dragons. Uh, I'm talking about Breezy right now, so I'm going to throw them up. Like, the Control Warrior deck's different. It's good. It's his take on the on the list in Wild. Uh, the J Druid list is pretty cool, too. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see that, but, uh, you know, uh, I kind of wish we did, but it's all good. Freeze Mage would have been cool to watch, too. Well, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of, like, not that great right now with Reno Mage being popular, but it's really good against Reno Priest, so that's why he brought it, I think. But yeah, good set, and big thanks to these two for participating again. Thanks for coming, and again, congrats to both these guys. Sweet. Go for the face cam. Uh, we are definitely, like, 30 minutes early. Holy shit. The, the next match was planned to be for four, so we are, like, ooh, we're speeding through that quick-ass 3 is just, like, ooh. I shouldn't say ass. Good set though. Nice video from Audrey.